going to click print off once again and in this lesson i'll be taking you through solution to partial differential equations so you learn about what actually is a solution to a partial differential equation and how to find them and what they entail so we see a function u is said to be a solution of a partial differential equation when substituted into the equation the latter becomes an identity or simply put it satisfies the given partial differential equation so let's look at characteristics of the solution of a partial differential equation so the solution contains arbitrary functions instead of arbitrary constants in the case of ordinary differential equation and the solution is a multivariate function and the reason why it's a multivariate function is because it depends on like the dependent independent variables sorry the independent variables are more than one so it makes it a multivariate function so let's look at an example so we are supposed to search for a function of two variables that's u equals u of x y satisfying this particular equation so you realize that this particular equation can be a pd can be written in this form and that means you're supposed to do two integrations here so when you integrate for the first time you get the u del x equals the integral of zero del x and you realize that u is a function of x and y so when because we are integrating with respect to x here that means our constant will be a function of y that is why the u del x is equal to f of y then when we integrate again so when we integrate this again let me do the integration here so we have del u del x we have del u del x equals f of y so when you try to integrate this you're going to get del u be equal to f of y del x and you get u will be equal to so you get u will be equal to the integral f of y del x and this will give us u will be equal to f of y times x plus a certain constant which will be a function of y so you get u of x y be equal to f of y s plus g of y just as we have in our notes here right. so let's take a look at the second example so the second example says search for a function u equals u of x y satisfying the equation u the square u the y square plus u equals zero so um one thing that you also have to note is that when you're finding for the solution of a pd mostly we don't have any method for finding the solution of a pd so we mostly get an od to characterize our pd and we solve that od and that od gives us the solution to the pd so note that this pd is similar to the od v prime prime plus v equals zero and there's a second order ordinary differential equation so when we solve this you know we get a characteristic equation which is this and when you solve the characteristic equation we get complex roots so the complex root means that we are going to get cause and sine so that means our general solution will be v of t will be equal to e cos t plus b sine t but you should know that this was an ode we saw so we are having arbitrary constant here or in the case of the PD, you will be having arbitrary functions. So you realize that we are doing our integration with respect to y. So that means our constant will be a function of x. So that's why we have a function of x here and a function of x here instead of the arbitrary constant in the case of the ordinary differential equation. So the PD form of the general solution becomes u of x, y equals f of x cos y plus g of x sine y. So um please try to go through this use that same concept to find the general solution of this particular second order um partial differential equation and after solving it you should get the solution u of x y equals this this so after solving you should get this particular solution and thank you very much